This is Tina from Shaw Electronics. As you know, amplifiers are available in a large amount of different configurations. While if you want to get the best sound of your subwoofer, one thing very vital is to not underpower your speakers. Bass is much harder to amplify than the rest of the spectrum of sound. That's why there are so many large and brief free subwoofer amplifiers out there, dedicated solely to reproducing bass. But have you chosen the right amplifier for your subwoofer? In today's video, we will show you how to find a right amplifier for your subwoofer. A subwoofer has impedance, measured in volts, which represents a lot of an amplifier. An amplifier will put out different amounts of power based on the impedance load. If you start to build the subwoofer system, first make sure which style of subwoofer, a single voice color sub or a dual voice color sub you use and the quantity you will need. Usually but certainly not always, dual voice color models are built for higher power handling and performance. Multiple sums wired together must be the same coil type and impedance. If they are not, the power won't divide evenly between them, and some subs would probably be overpowered, while others get underpowered. If you want to run different types of sums in the system, each type needs to have its own separate end.
functions like signal loop and component optimization. This board offers better sound quality with higher SNR more than 115 dB and lower total harmonic distortion and noise at 0.00. .00.